The Amazon will be playing Donna Loban, a bit of an Antipodean uh, battle down there. Holly Norton will play Rowan El Arabi. And then in... Nice. Yeah, she's done that a few times already. And Chinapa is just a little bit and loose four, in her approach. Five. Yeah, she hits the drives and the cross courts in quite. Also has to watch the length and weight of shot. You can see it now. She's certainly just picking up the pace a little bit here, Chinapa. And again, Cortese front left. She's won that battle so far, six. clearly. Yeah, the ball's falling short every time. There, Chinapa. Cortese it's just stepping up. One of those games, one of those, one of those early morning matches you play uh, in tournaments, local tournaments perhaps. It's, they're just uh, both struggling to. Stroke to Cortese. As you can see there, it's another poor error. This time on against Shanata. This is a real points. chance for Cortese. He really sense that this is a moment where she's got to take control, take this first game and gain the ascendancy. She's done enough to deserve it, that's for sure. Oh, nice. what a shot. Lovely finish. 12-10, game two, Cortese. Cortese leads. One game to love. Great hands. That is lovely touch. But Cortese, it doesn't, I don't think she quite has the game that that will, it will really trouble Cortese. She's quite happy to play these short, sharp rallies. Hand out to all. Right on cue, there's that straight kill. She's at the back of the service box, so for most players, that'll be attached with a fair bit of risk, but Sinatra has played better part of her career doing that. Nice. Yeah, it was very well worked there. Three Set it two. up again with the length. Bending into that front leg, so this is a real chance here for Cortese. And she's coached by Annette Pilling, Vanessa. I was in the lead-up, I, I, I mentioned that. Uh, maybe you can enlighten me a little more on, on that relationship between those two. Yeah, Annette's been coaching England for many, many years. She's worked with quite a lot of the England players, probably Laura Massaro in her early days, most notably. Very established. Down. It's a sloppy finish, and Cortese really well, lost her way there, unfortunately. 6 5 up, and the last six points all in a row in sequence to the Indian world number 11. And uh, Does like to play that shot, doesn't she, Vanessa? Just sort of curl it back into the forehand nice. cross drop. Gets, wins the rally as well. That was a hard rally Three too, one. probably the hardest physical rally of the match so far. Just that bit of hold there, stopped Chinapa's movement. Almost stopped there again, Chinapa. That's a good weighted ball. She's got Cortese moving there, and she, once she got the upper hand there, she was able to hold on to that dominance. Showing a lot of experience now, Shinapa. Snake so game ball for Shinapa. There it is, Shinapa. so Shinapa takes the third game with a stroke. She actually worked 11, probably nine, against the grain of her own style Shinapa there, although it was quite attritional. Games. It's nicely set up again. She's actually found some winners around and the front of the court four, again, Cortese. Just about to say, can Cortese produce the goods in these pressure moments? Match ball. Just didn't get the width there on the cross, Cortese. Oh, she's falling no into her again. Go behind. Go be the line is behind. 
No, we haven't got one. I feel like she'd be much more likely to get a let in that situation if she was just behind, you're going to a little bit slower to get it. She gets the racket up and back so quickly Ten that all, each she just looks like she's immediately ball. looking for the player. Look how quickly the racket's up there. Third match ball here for Shinapa. That's going to be a stroke. It is. 12-10. It is. <laughs> she was she was asking for a, a review, Vanessa. I don't know why. I think she was just so filthy on some of the other decisions. But in the end, Josh and Shanapa got the job done. 51-minute match. It was quite quite long, really, for what we would have expected between these two. And it was Shanapa who actually had to use all of her experience and 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 mental hardness as, as well to work her way to quite a physical victory. In the end, it was a very solid performance. 12-10 in the fourth. This is against Perry, quite especially with her wingspan, keep it low and wide, not at shoulder height. She's finding uh, her range quite quickly here, SJ, coached by Robert Owen uh, in that first podcast as well, which is very interesting, telling stories about playing against your father and just... How, you've, how uh, Jonah, when playing Robert Owen, coach of Sarah Jane Perry, was very, very talented left-hand player. And your dad just, he, told, he said that your dad just used to play only on his backhand. He wouldn't put the ball on, on his forehand at all. And that's no. where he learned about oh, yeah. just locking somebody down on one side. Well, it's interesting, though, because also he did a lot of work with uh, Phil Whitlock. They played a lot of matches when we were down the West Country. Phil Whitlock based in Devon, Devon Boy, originally. So they used to play a lot in Exeter and at the Victoria Club in Street. Just like to reiterate to Phil that Dad did have the upper hand on that head-to-head. -head. Yes, left. But uh, good hard-nosed battles. Six, three, right. They would have played a lot as well. Phil Whitlock would have played uh, against Rob Owen. Quite cricket in my court when I was growing up. It went over somebody's fence. You'd have to go and get it yourself. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a shot. She got very low on that beautiful open racket face, chopped the ball in two. Slightly wrong footing with the old top spin. Game to Perry. Perry leads one game to love. Sarah Jane Perry looking really relaxed and had all four corners available. If Whitlock's going to sort of be in, intent on trying to step up and go short, she's just she's going to have to. That's a great volley drop, though. She's just got to be a little yeah. bit careful that four, three. just doesn't open it up too soon or that she's stretching too much. Nice hands on that volley. It's that little... Top spin, side spin, return to serve from Perry again. Again, very good finish. That's the ball there for me where Whitlock has just got a, it's a divic. Too early. It's just too early. It's this is the third shot in the rally for Whitlock. She was at the back of the service. You do feel that, given uh, what we've seen from all of the players who slide underdogs, that have just been taught in the last two days. If you don't take your opportunities, but that is taking your opportunity, and you can see the fist. But I like that slow cross court ball, which set it up, Joe. We need to see a little bit more of that. Yeah, so dangerous times here for Sarah Jane Perry. Emily Whitlock now looking a lot sharper, a lot more confident. Game ball opportunity to level up. And that's a great shot, terrific shot. So Sarah Jane Perry has opened the door. And Emily Whitlock has absolutely stormed through it. There we go. For the Welsh lady. Eight, two, left. Can 
hear that breathing. She is puffing and huffing away there, Joey. She's uh, this is sort of taking a bit of a, a bit of a bite out of her. I feel picking up uh, just how hard the going is for Whitlock out there. It's been high intensity, but Perry's just commanded so much in the middle of the court. Great overhead volley post. Very oh. late change of direction there with the wrist. Post. Now she's got four game balls. Sarah Jane Perry. Whipping in the bows. So Six. in this England-Wales encounter, England, England leading two games to one. to one in the form of Sarah Jane Perry. Get it physically. There's that twisting ball again, which sets it up. In goes the drop. Perry's, uh, her own movement has been solid, though. She's bringing some very good defence herself at the right time as well. It's a good execution there, straight as an arrow Three, along the wall. Tremendous trickle volley boast there. Yeah. The Aussie boast played off the Six, volley. Five. Can remember first introduced by Rodney Isles in the Twelve, late eight, eight ball. Eight. Again, backhand volley. Whitlock has been Ten growing in confidence around that area, left hand Six side mid court. And with that error, 13, Emily Whitlock Whitlock. bounces off court, Whitlock. looking sprightly. She's fought back once again. Perry, Win. just feel that Whitlock physically is just looking a tiny bit like the energy levels just dropping off a bit too much. And that's why, because Perry can just come up with those six, five, easier combinations when she's Around the middle, she's got so much variety. Down quickly, 4-1 early in the game. Whitlock was threatening, that's for sure. Hand up. Six, nine. Cheeky. As I say, every point is played like match points still. A match ball, though, for Perry, and she does it. 11-9. So that will be more relief than Three anything else for Sarah Jane 11 Perry. 11-4, Well, in the England-Wales battle, 55 minutes of squash and very entertaining squash. Sarah Jane Perry winning three games to two. much as she can on her own forehand. Very strong there, try and use her power against and out the lefty one. backhand. Five, seven. 11-6, game to King. King so Joel King taking the game first game. And Joel King utilising a few loose balls in that forehand front corner. It's too easy. In with a shout. Just two points between them in this second. Yeah, she needs to be careful with that eight, angle. Five. She's played it in too high in the last few rounds. Eleven, 
11-6, game to King. King oh, leads King. two games to love. Press is on in this first round encounter, day two here in the Black Bull Open. Well, this is not the start that Lovren would want. This Short and sharp, the ball's getting colder. Another very good serve. Well, she's lost the back of the court here, King. She's Stroke allowed Lovren to just step up Lovin. and take control on the volley. It's kind of old school squash. Nine, three, the, left side. the old uh, serve and volley drop. She's starting to hold a little bit more as well. Out. Joel King's really three, lost her way. Game ball. Seven game balls. Take this into a fourth. And out four ten. Game ball. Eleven four game to eleven. So Don Lobber doing leads two games to love to one. What's so it's unsettling King. It's forcing her to lose that accuracy that she had in those first two games. It's a good movement from Lobbin. So pressing five on three. to five three. She read it. Managed to turn the shoulders, duck the head. <laughs> Talk about long levers. <laughs> she used every single Seven inch four. there. Yeah, it was go gadget arm. Watch this. Oh. <laughs> Important for her game. 11 5, game to 11, two games old. So two. That shot so well. She's oh, at full stretch. It's like an octopus. And now two five. <laughs> yeah, good switch. Seven five. Just waited long enough for Lobin to commit. So advanced. Play King just clawing it back. Oh my goodness. So a Joel King just squeezing out eight, a two point lead at 8 6, the finale of this match. Joel King converts. Eleven, eight, match to King, three games to two. 11-6, 11-6. Five four, games. 11, five, 11, 11, King, after being two games to love up, managing to take it. 11-8 in the fifth game. Good effort there from Donna Lobben. 55 minutes in total, but it's King that books her place into the second round. So that's... There's, there's more to that uh, the nickname than may uh, you may appear. Look at that. That's just an absolute Six. screaming winner from the back of the court. And it's it's only really I've only so far seen it from the Egyptian players that move. I don't I can't think of any European or from any other country players that move like that. Six, eight. No, certainly uh, amongst the women there's. there's like, most of the most of the ladies from sort of European countries will have to hold their ground when they go on a big stretch. Lovely serve from Norton. Stroke to El Arabi. Play review Norton on a stroke decision. 
Well, she did well to get to get it back, Norton, but she just pulled the ball towards herself a little bit. And she was a bit unlucky. The bounce of that cross drop here just caught a bit of the sidewall nick there and sort of bounced awkwardly for Norton. And that's what caused that error. That's going to be a stroke all day long. So the stroke, stroke confirmed. Alarabi, decision upheld. 11-8. Giving Alarabi this Alarabi first game. One game to long. Really good rally here from Norton. And there's the finish. Good straight work to set that up. up. Three all. Even when taking the ball in short. Up. Eight, four. So the good use of the bow, so we've seen the cross court. Yeah, she's really taken Alarabi by surprise with the quality of what she's done so far in this second game. Out. And there's the finish. Game to Norton. Very game impressive more. display from Holly Norton in that second game. Easily put away on the backhand. It's all about the base there for me. That was just. Hand out. She was on that volley again, and she's actually Five, been executing the short play with on her forehand, Norton. But she chose to go with so. the base. Absolute precise play. Like Beautiful. That. Good. Six, seven. Absolute perfection. So late, it's so hard to cover it. <laughs> oh, oh, good hands. Well, Hand up. I was, seven, we were about to say go straight, but she's gone for the nick and caught it. Look at that. Yeah. Wonderful. Great response from Norton. Earns herself two game balls. Brilliant. 11 8, no let. It's a winner. 11 8, game to Norton. Norton leads two games to one. Fantastic comeback from Norton in this third game. Oh, wow, that's just brilliant. We saw those two, two sort of floating cross courts that Norton played over to Al Arabi's backhand. Great movement from Norton to get that back. But there's the finish two, from Al Arabi. Beautiful again. It's that she, nice. when she's worked those straight options, she's not missing. We've rarely seen her put these in the tin, Vanessa. Good step. She's done ah. it. She's Eleven done it. Seven. Match to Norton. In style. Three <laughs> games to one. Eight to 11. 11 Fantastic six. performance 11 Eleven from Holly seven. Norton. Finally gets that win. It's a huge mental victory, I feel. Brilliant stuff. So Holly Norton taking the match in 40 minutes, 3-1, 8-11, 11-6, 11-8, 11-7.